guys. Today we are going to read this fun and exciting book. This story is called The Little Bookworm. Let's start. The Little Bookworm. The Little Bookworm's favorite treat is eating books, sheet by sheet. Little books, big books, fat books, thin books. Books are starter, main course, and sweet. More books are crunchy, munchy, and filling. Pull outs are wholesome, tender, and thrilling. Boo! Picture books are a tasty treat. Books with sound are scrumptious to eat. Boing, boing, squeak, squeak. Whee! Tales of woe make him sad and weepy. And bedtime tales, tired and sleepy. Boo-hoo! Shoo! 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 Buggy books are for the beginner and usually covered in yesterday's dinner. Jigsaw books are good to eat, but then impossible to complete. Cookery books are delicious and yummy, but pop-up books upset his tummy. A is for apple, B is for ball, C is for cat, D is for oops, he's eaten at all. At minus times divide, number books are nice deep fried. Finding a place for the shape to fit is hard when bookworm has chewed a bit. Coloring books are delicious with paint and crayon, quite nutritious. Furry patches stick stuck with glue make touchy feels, hard to chew. Fairy books that glitter and shine are crunchy, munchy, and divine. Puzzle books are rather tricky, bad books, chewy, soapy, and sticky. So when you go to bed tonight and say goodnight to mommy, you just might hear a munching sound as Bookworm fills his tummy. Munch, munch. And in the morning there may be left, as you will plainly see a little pile of paper scraps this book used to be. Goodbye. Here you can see Bookworm is eating books. It's so funny he's eating books. This, this is a big book. There are three bears here and they, this is a big book. Here this is a board book. It's so crunchy. He is in the pole out and he is his head is in he in the aeroplane. Here there's a teddy bear playing with this truck and he's and the worm is saying wee here he's jumping on a button boing boing and it's making a song squeak squeak Here he is he feels sad because this is um uh, tales of wool. Here he feels so tired and sleepy because this is a lullaby story book. Here there is a buggy book and he is eating buggy book like yesterday's dinner. Here is a jigsaw book which we use puzzle books. Bookery books are tasty and so delicious and bookworm is eating them. Papa books upsets his tummy. When he eats these papa books, then he does he, his stomach feels bad. Here is A is for apple, B is for ball, C is for cat, and D is for oops. There is nothing here. And he is cooking the he has cooked them and eat the numbers like fries. Here they are finding a shape to fit is hard, but Bookworm has chewed a bit. Here he's coloring and it's so tasty. He likes to eat crayons. Here stick with glue. The furry patches are stick with glue and he cannot able to chew. It's very hard to chew. These are glittery and very shiny books. Here are bad books which we play in the water and he's, it's so sticky, he cannot eat it. Here 
at night when we go to bed, you can hear a munching sound as Bookworm fills his tummy eating some books. In the morning, you may see that there are no books. You can only see plainly paper scraps. And then you don't know which book to eat them. Goodbye. That was a fun one. I hope you had fun reading the story with me. And you have, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye-bye.